Hi, I'm Paul Toll from Paul Toll Cam. I'm going to show you tonight that Rogue Legacy works for the Mac. Well, first of all, it's my website, all kind of cool stuff, lots of games, Dust, Amiga, Mizix games, but especially Windows games. And I'm going to focus at the moment on a specific game, Rogue Legacy for the Mac. Well, you can get the game on several ways, or you can go to the game page on several ways using the here button from the blog or the, the game porch link in the top bar, which will be on a new website as well. Same way. Um, then you will find um, the platform game because it's a platform game and then you go to the game page where you can download the wrapper oh first we go to uh, Rogue Legacy well um, well you will need the Windows game itself first and the wrapper so if you don't own a game yet you can get it from like Gamesgate Or GG the car. Well, this will be coming too. If the internet works a little bit with me. There we go. Well, it takes too long for me. Alright, um, and you need the wrapper, which you can download from here. Click on the download button, which will be on a new website on the, just the front page on the game page. So, you can download it there. Click on download, and then you will download the file. It's a, a zip file which you can extract where you can install your Windows games in. Well, I own the Rogue Legacy uh, uh, GOG to com version. Well, you can download it after purchase, of course. You can create an account in the top bar and then, or add chart. And then you can download the file. It's 137 MB. Download it. And then uh, you can use the wrapper, which will be uh, the zip file here. Just double click it, double click it so it will extract. And then you will get this. It won't have the blue thingy, but. Uh, you can create that one right click and then create blue well, basic Mac knowledge all right then you double click the wrapper click on install Windows software click on choose executable then go to your downloads we have downloaded the games git file or you download the, the um, rogue legacy uh, gg the com version this is still 0, 4, but in the future it might be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know when you watch this video, but at the moment it is. Uh, click Accept. Well, let's try again. Oh, there it already starts. Um, click Yes. Click Install. There we go. It's not a big game. Click next. I accept next install. Well, that's okay. Finish. Exit. Well, there we go. If we double click the wrapper now, let's see what happens. Oops, I have to set the start executable. The pros are GOG to com, Rogue Legacy, Rogue Legacy.exe, click choose, and you click this away. Well, if I run it now, it should run. And I think it will run at first windowed mode. And we have to choose uh, change that. Takes a few seconds to launch. There we go. So you see this window mode now. So how to change it? And this will be. Ugh. 
may be a little bit irritating because you need to do uh, the tab for the change and this they won't like because uh, <laughs> if I press it now to yes this uh, they won't like okay what you have to do if I press enter to quit this it might may beep sound and just to um, quit this quickly press alt command Q so I reply but I say again alt command Q that's the way because of I use the Mac driver and because when I use the Mac driver it's not command Q to exit the wrapper but you need to use command alt Q just for you know okay let's do the quick enter that's what I mean quit it and then when you run, run launch it again it should work just fine full screen so something with sound I don't know what it is but uh, it's only with the installation or when, when changing uh, the resolution and then the next lounge should be just fine and you can play it full screen but no problems at all launching the first time will take a few seconds as you can see here full screen now all right All right. Uh, Blah blah blah. So this game is really running awesomely smooth. It's just same as a Windows. Really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Ah, blah, blah. Why do I smoke? <laughs> I must say this isn't a really easy game. Ooh, this is not a good game. I have to go out here. I use is the A, uh, the, uh, the A, uh, the S, and the D. The D is just with uh, well, chopping. S is for jump or space. You can use as well. 
And with A, well, I don't know. <laughs> Woohoo! As you can see, Gunrun's uh, Gamer is awesome. Only the first time you change the settings to full screen. Uh, I'll make a change uh, for a weird sound. But you can uh, quit it quickly using uh, Alt Command Q. So thank you for, for watching. I hope to see you back on Polytool.com. If you love the work I do, then you can always donate to my website, become a premium member, and support my hard work. And yeah, uh, spread the word and see you back on Polytool.com. Bye bye. Yeah.